What's going on guys? So I want to talk a little bit today about Earl Thomas and the Dallas Cowboys being potential suitors for him. First, we'll talk a little bit about Earl Thomas last year in Baltimore. I know a lot of people are saying that he's kind of lost a step and maybe he has. He's definitely not as fast as he used to be, but you know what? He played 15 games last year and he did have two interceptions at safety. And that's two more interceptions than Byron Jones had at defensive back as a Cowboy last year. So I think Earl Thomas probably deserves a little credit for that. And honestly, I think the guy can still play. Just because he's lost his step doesn't mean he's not still an NFL starter. Um, everybody wants to point out the playoff game against Tennessee. And yeah, Derrick Henry gave him the, the stiff arm a couple times. But let's not forget, Earl Thomas still saved Derrick Henry from scoring a touchdown there. He still stopped him. And to be honest with you, Earl Thomas is a fairly small guy. He's, what, 5'10", like 205, 210 pounds. Man, Derrick Henry is the biggest running back in the NFL. Guy's 6'3", 230, and he's freaking jacked. Now, as far as Dallas goes, I know Mike McCarthy came out and said that he likes what Dallas has. Um, that's kind of the basic coach answer, in my opinion. McCarthy's not the GM, so I don't know, know what he's really supposed to say. You don't really want your head coach endorsing a guy that you don't know if the GM plans on signing. So it kind of makes sense that he's just not really going to give his opinion. Obviously, he wants the team to think that he likes what he has, and he may. But that doesn't mean that safety can't be approved, or improved, I should say, and it definitely can. So I want to look at Xavier Woods and Donovan Wilson, I believe, are at free safety, and that's the position that... Earl Thomas would likely be starting at. Now on the other side, we got Darian Thomas, or is it Darian Thompson, sorry, taking that first safety spot. And Ha Ha Clinton Dix has been playing second team reps. So I don't know if that's because of Clinton Dix's performance so far in training camp or what, but whatever it's indicative of, it's not a great sign because Darian Thompson wasn't great at safety with the Cowboys last year. As a matter of fact, he mostly helped on special teams. So the, the idea of him starting at strong safety isn't great. I would really rather the free safety be a playmaker if that's the case. And I think Xavier Woods is a solid player. I think he'd make a great rotation safety. I definitely want to keep him on the team, but I would like a little more depth there. And man, it would look a lot better if Earl Thomas was on the roster. Steven Jones was talking a little bit about how safety's not the strongest position for us. He didn't word it like that, but he basically said that when Dallas spent money this offseason, it clearly wasn't really spent much at safety. I don't know if management is as happy with what we have currently in Dallas as our coaching is. Well, it'll be interesting to see if we actually go after him. Um, if, we, if we want to, now's the time. It's now or never. We've had multiple chances in the past. But now this might be the one opportunity in Earl Thomas's career where he can kind of still play and at the same time no longer demand this big contract because I think he's still getting paid by Baltimore probably, or at least he's making something from that deal. And he, he kind of knows at this point that if he's going to sign with another team after everything that's happened, then he's probably not going to get the, the kind of big money he wanted in the past. Now as far as his off-the-field issues goes, I would like to think that might not be an issue in Dallas. I mean, you know you're taking a risk, but you also know that Earl Thomas wanted to go home to the state of Texas and he wanted to play for the Dallas Cowboys. So when a player's telling you he wants to be there, I'd like to think he's not going to be starting fights at practice and that kind of stuff, and it's a low risk. If he does, then you cut him, and you make sure it's in the contract clause where there's really no tolerance for that kind of stuff. So my personal opinion is I would definitely try and do what it takes within reason to sign him. I know Todd Archer was saying that the Tyron Smith contract was changed around for future depth or something like that for next year or whatever. And I, I don't necessarily believe that. I think it definitely has something to do with Earl Thomas. We're definitely doing our homework on him. And we're, we're definitely going to see if we can make it happen. Doesn't mean we will, but I, I don't think it's going to be for a lack of trying. So guys, do me a big favor. If you enjoyed this video, like, comment, and subscribe for more Dallas Cowboys comment, content. And do me a favor, leave a comment about Earl Thomas if you want to see him with the team. What do you think he can bring to the table? And if you think this is the year, you know, could he be our Charles Haley signing and lead us to a Super Bowl? And that's going to do it for today, guys. I'm out. Peace.